Hey everyone, it's Steven here with Rover Labs, going to uh, take you through a design tutorial to show you how to make this kind of card. It's I'm calling it a badge four square style check-in, and it's a great way to make a really integrated looking card where you know it almost floats on top of your app and you can see more of the background through it. So what this tutorial is going to show you how to do is use transparent PNGs and also to use uh, transparent backgrounds. So let's get started. The first thing I've already done is cut out this image as a transparent PNG. Just make sure you're not getting anything in the background here. And we can get started authoring this in the Rover admin console. So I've already set up a touch point. You can see my push notification telling you to get your early word offer. Let's add the card for it. We'll call it early word offer. Easy enough. And I'll put my content quickly in first just so we can have something to actually style. So I've got my image in there. Let me see what was my text. I'll just copy and paste that in here. Do do do. Put that in here. Let's make sure that goes back to being an H1. Great. I'll just say thanks. Oops. Thanks for showing up early. And then we'll give it a call to action to see the offer details. Cool. We'll put that into a full screen view, and um, you know that's where you can put your barcodes or um, legal copy or anything else that needs to go with the offer. But we want to keep this pretty simple, so we'll save that. And now we need to start styling it. So what I want to go is into my design settings, and I've already set up a theme here that we're going to style the uh, badge offer style here. And right now it's all set to its default. So I'm going to show you how to style this so we make it look like my design. The first thing I need to do is make sure that my image is going to be transparent in the background. And we also need to shrink it down a bit because right now it's going to try to stretch it as you saw from left to right. So I'm going to increase the padding on the right and the left just by inputting the values here. I'll try 60. That might be a bit too big, but we'll see how it looks. And that should be good for that actually. Then we go into our text box and I'm going to take the transparency down to zero on the background color. Um, next, let's make all our text white. I also want to center it. That looks a bit nicer. H2, and then our paragraph style. Just hammer in the Fs. And that's looking a bit better. I'm going to make my H1 a little bit bigger and increase the line height on that. The other thing we'll want to do is decrease the padding on the left and the right on this one. You'll see why later because we don't really have any color padding around it. So the text in this case can actually extend to the very edge of the card and it won't look funny. So um, I have my padding value here. Let me just decrease those down to zero, the left and right. So now everything is kind of lined up, this and the button. The button, I'm going to make that transparent in the background, take that down to zero. Let's give it a border. Let's give it about three pixels on every side. I want that to be white. And Helvetica, that's good. I want it to be a little bit bolder, so let's change it to bold. And cool, that's looking pretty good now. What I want to do is make this card a little bit narrower because you know you can see these are really tight to the edge. So I do that by changing my card margins. Uh, you can see right now it's all 15 rounds. So I'm going to change the right and the left to let's maybe double it to 30. You know what? I might actually take it a little bit more. Let's try 40. I also want to take my border radius off because I don't want anything to be rounded for this look and feel. And <laughs> let's save that. So what we'll do now is go back out into our entrance touch point, check out the card here, and we'll apply the style that we just did. There might be a few adjustments we have to do here. And uh, yeah, the image needs to be taken up because previously it was taking up more space. There, that's tightened up. <clears throat> Pardon me. So you can see this is looking a lot more like the design I had over here. There might be some, you know, sizing, finessing that you'll do with the padding and the, and the type styling, but you can see it's pretty close. Um, what I want to do just to show off in our card authoring is that because this is an early bird special, I'm going to actually segment it to be the early bird. So let's give this to people who come into my coffee shop from 4.30, let's say 7.30. And I'll say that. So that means this card is only going to show up for those people. So it is, in fact, an early bird special. Now, again, you can add your detail view here. I'm not going to go through that all now, but that's where you'll add all your, you know, barcode and information about the offer, all that kind of good stuff. Um, 
We really just wanted to show you how easy it is to make an integrated badge style looking offer like this um, just by you know using transparent backgrounds and some transparent PNGs. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, hit us up on, on Twitter, on YouTube, leave a comment. I'm definitely going to be putting out more of these videos, so look forward to doing those. Any ideas of you know tutorials or, or effects you'd like to see, leave us a, again, leave us a comment and let us know.